What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. In today's tutorial, I wanted to make a video using the extension Animator to create an animated view of a plane flying through a city. And before we get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I don't really know why, but I've always wanted to make an animation of like a fighter jet flying through a city. So maybe kind of something like you'd see in like Transformers or, you know, any, any of those movies where, you know, you have fighter jets that have to fly through a city for whatever reason. So I wanted to walk you through how you could use the extension animator to create this with a plane that's moving and also a camera that's following behind your plane. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the extension animator. And I will link to that in the notes down below as well as some other tutorials on this. But um, I'm going to walk you through the basics. And I will note that this city was created using the extension Placemaker, and that's kind of a one-click city creation extension um, that you can use. In this case, this is Denver, but I was able to bring all of this in with one click. So all the water, all the roads, all those different things, I was able to bring those in using that extension. So I will also link to that in the notes down below. I will note that is an affiliate link, so if you do end up purchasing placemaker, um, I will receive a commission. So what we're going to do, if I can find my plane model again, I know it's sitting in here somewhere. There it is. And in this case, the plane that I'm using is a 3D warehouse plane that I downloaded. It's the General Dynamic F-16 by Sletch2003. And so this is a really cool model. What we're going to do is we're going to create an animation of this flying through the city. And I may either have it fly off or do a barrel roll or something like that. I haven't really decided yet. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is my model axes are a little bit off. So if you look at the axes right now, they don't really line up with the city itself. They're just kind of off in the distance here. And so it's going to make it a lot easier for us if we come in here and um, we line the axes up so that they're down the middle of our path. So I'm going to have this fly down this, this uh, long stretch right here. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do a... I'm going to go into tools and I'm going to select axes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my axes so they're kind of centered along this path. So I'm just going to set one point that goes straight down this path. And then I'll set the other one off to the left so that my up and down goes this way. So now um, everything will kind of inference to the axes a little bit better. You can see how now I can move this along the green axis to kind of center it along this uh, path that we want to take this down. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a unit movement. And so that's going to be this little blue box over here under the insert sequence function. And so we're going to click on that and then we're going to click the option for new movement. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to add a movement into our model. And the first thing it's going to ask us is which group do we want to move? So in this case, you're going to mouse over your fighter plane. You're going to click on it. And in this case, I'm going to select the one, which is the group that contains my entire fighter plane. So I don't want this uh, first option because it's only part of the plane. You want it to be the whole object. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And, and then the next thing it's going to do after you select this is it's going to ask you what kind of translation or movement you want to add in here. Well, in this case, we just want to add a simple translation. So we're going to click on this object and it's going to ask us for a start point. So in this case, I'm going to click right here where my plane starts and then it's going to ask for an end point. So in this case, I want my end point to be all the way right here out of work fine. And so once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click the save the sequence button. So the green check. It's going to ask um, us to save the name of the new sequence. We'll go ahead and call this plane movement. And uh, that's just to kind of keep everything organized. So now if I was to go back and you'll notice what this does is this adds a little clip over here to the left hand side. So if I click back at zero seconds, then my plane's going to go back to where it started from. And I'm just going to rotate down behind it. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click the play button. So when we click the play button, what's going to happen is the plane's going to fly off into the distance. So all the way down here. If I was to kind of rotate my camera view down and play it again, 
you'll see the plane shoot through here real quick. But you'll notice that that's not really a very good view because you can't really follow what the plane is doing. And so we're gonna go back to zero and kind of center our camera on our plane. And so we're gonna kind of zoom in on our plane right here. And we're gonna add a camera movement. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our camera so it flies behind this plane. And so in order to do that, you're just gonna go up here and you're gonna click on the insert a camera in the timeline. And we're gonna click new camera. What that's gonna allow us to do is that's gonna create a camera that's gonna set where our view is at this point in our timeline. And so in this case, I'm just gonna kinda of rotate in here so that I can see my plane, so it's a good view of my plane, and I'm just gonna click the option for capture current view camera. And then we'll go ahead and click the checkbox. So that's gonna be our first view. And then our second view is gonna be, we're gonna scroll down to the two seconds in the timeline off to the left, and we're gonna insert a second camera. And in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in, and we're gonna set our second camera at two seconds, to be looking at this as well. So we're gonna do new camera, and we'll go ahead and zoom in on our plane, and we're gonna click capture current view camera again, and then we'll click the checkbox. And so what that's gonna do is now, you're gonna have two different camera views within your animator view. So you've got your camera view at the zero seconds, and then you've got your camera view at the two seconds. So now if you click play, this is gonna animate the transition between these two camera views. And since your plane is covering the same ground, your plane's gonna be in your view the whole time. So if I click the play button now, your camera is gonna follow along with your plane. And so one thing I'm noticing about this is, first of all, it's not a very long clip. So I'm probably gonna go in here and I'm gonna click on my first clip and I'm gonna set my duration to maybe four seconds instead of two seconds. And in addition to that, I'm also gonna click on this camera view off to the left-hand side, and I'm gonna click that I want that camera view to also start at four seconds. So that's gonna move over here as well. So now, if we go back and we play this, we've doubled the length of our animation. And so now we've got this animation where we're following this fighter plane through the city. And so one other thing I wanna do, and you could, you could add a series of clips after this as well. So if you wanted to maybe follow it out of the city up into the sky or something like that, you could definitely do that as well. The one thing I wanna do is in the middle of this, I wanna insert another movement. So probably at about two seconds, what I wanna do is I wanna insert a movement of a barrel roll. So this plane kind of flipping around in a circle. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and set my timeline to two seconds. And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna add a new movement. And in this case, I'm just gonna click on the button and then click on new movement. And it's gonna do the same thing where it asks me what object I want to move. So I'm gonna click on my plane and I'm gonna select the fighter plane. And in this case, I'm going to add a, I'm gonna add a spin. And we'll just click on the rotation angle and set it to 360 degrees. And then we'll click on the green check mark. And then we're gonna click okay. And so now, if we were to play our animation again, this is gonna follow our plane through the city and it's gonna do 180 degree or 360 degree rotation. So, and the nice thing about this is we can actually take this and kind of move it back in our timeliner by clicking and dragging. So I can set that so it kind of does that rotation in the middle of my animation. So now if I click back up here again, and I click the play button, we're gonna follow our plane through the city. It's gonna do a 360 degree rotation and then keep moving. And the other thing we could do if we wanted to is we could make the duration of the flight a little bit longer. So we could make this like a six second flight and that's not really gonna affect your spin in this case. The only thing you need to make sure that you do is you set your camera view time at the correct time as well. So if my overall duration is six seconds, then the second camera view needs to be set as six seconds as well. So then I'm gonna go back and we're just gonna hit play one more time. And we've got our 360 degree view. And then we finalize right here. So, and then you could take this and you could do whatever you want with it. In this case, I'm going to export this to a video. 
And so we're just going to go up here and we're going to click on the option for generate a video for film. And so in my case, I have a plugin installed. Um, I think it's called FFMPEG. And uh, that allows me to create actual animations in this case. So if you don't have that installed, this is just going to give you the option for the images sequence. Well, in this case, um, if you have that installed, you can select something like MP4. And I will link to a tutorial down below where I talked a little bit more about that. Um, but we can also come in here and set different things like our frame rate and our speed factor and also the dimensions of the video we're creating. And in this case, I'm good with all of this stuff. If you look, um, this tells you the number of frames that it's going to have to create because it's going to have to basically spit out every single one of these images and then stitch them together to create a video. Um, and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a test image. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me a test view of what this animation is going to look like. And I may up my frame rate to something like 30 it's probably not gonna be that big of a deal but then we'll go ahead and give this a try and you can go ahead and set the name of your video so we'll call this plain animation and we're just gonna click generate video and what it's gonna do is it's gonna walk you through or it's gonna walk through and it's gonna export all of these different frames and depending on how fast your computer is this may take um, a little bit. So in this case it kind of gives me a preview saying this is going to take 3 minutes and 11 seconds to spit all this out. So I'll speed this up in the video. Alright so once that's done and it's run through all of this you can either click the button to play your animation or you can click the open folder button in order to go in that folder so you notice in this case this exported all the still images as well but if you look in the lower right hand corner um, I think I accidentally exported this both in MPEG and or MP4 as well as MOV um, but if you open one of those up and click play you can see how you've got this full animation in here of this plane flying through the city. So once you get an idea of the basics of this, then you can go through and you can create some really cool stuff. So leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you liked this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.